Yo, what's up guys, it's X-Rays. Welcome back to a new Battlefield video. In today's video, we're going to be covering all 10 of the multiplayer maps that are going to be in Battlefield 4. So if you guys want to know what maps are going to be in there on release day, then feel free to stay here and watch the video. Really quickly, before I jump into the maps, I want to mention if you guys are new and have not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. I am on my way to 30,000 subscribers, so any help you guys can give me would be awesome. With that being said, let's jump straight into the maps. So the first one that you guys are going to see is called Siege of Shanghai. High. Now there was some gameplay on this and I'm gonna have it on screen for you guys I'm I don't really have all the gameplay for all of these It's just an image, you know kind of like a banner that represents it uh, But if I do have the gameplay for it, I will show it for you guys on the screen But the first one siege of Shanghai is gonna be really awesome. It's a metropolis type area It's gonna be lots of big skyscrapers and obviously they're all gonna be kind of getting destroyed and take it down Especially if you have like those jets and stuff that you can shoot missiles at the buildings and kind of destroy them And just you know completely change the battlefield so that one looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun the second map that's going to be in Battlefield 4 is called Parcel Storm. This is the one that everyone has already seen if you guys have not already seen gameplay. Uh, so it's the map that's going to have like a lot of water. It's going to be the big sea. You can go in there. It's going to be lots of storm. It can, it's going to be changing a lot. So it's the one that you see where you are like on this battleship type one and it sinks and you have to get on these like little speed boats and stuff to get to different ones. It's going to be a really huge map. All of these are going to be really huge. The next one is called Operation Locker and it looks like it's going to be a sort of prison type area or it might just be like an industrious kind of factory again i'm assuming it's going to be pretty big but for what it looks like it's going to be like a factory type area uh operation locker not much known on this the next one is called damage but it's going to be like a i guess like an outdoor area but it's going to have a huge dam that you can interact with and it's going to be huge next map is going to be called flooded and it's basically going to be just you know this huge abandoned type uh, I guess little town area where everything got flooded over and it's completely destroyed and wrecked uh, But it looks like it's gonna be really cool The next one is called abandon and this is gonna be a forest map type area It's gonna have a big kind of facility area that's abandoned. It's really run down really beat up You can see it on the image itself, uh, but it looks like it's gonna be really huge as well Probably gonna have a huge, you know kind of forest area surrounding the factory And then you can actually go within this kind of building complex or whatever you want to call it the next map is going to be called Gold Mud Railway, and it's going to be a huge map as well. It's going to have uh, basically this one railway that goes down the middle of the map, and you're going to be able to have fights on the railway itself. You're going to have map uh, fighting going on on the sides. It's going to be really open, so it's going to be really good for snipers, and it's going to be really good for if you have tanks or jets or if you want to run around on your little, you know, little motorcycles and stuff like that. So it looks like it's going to be a really fun map to overall just kind of traverse. And go back and forth in the next map is going to be called resort and as you might have guessed it's going to be a you know kind of island paradise area but if you can see it looks like there is some kind of uh wrecked thing in the water it looks like it might be like a ship or a boat or it might be something like that uh so it might not be all that it seems from being a resort the next one is called Tremors. It's again another big city type map. A lot of skyscrapers, a lot of buildings, and it looks like it's going to be, you know, just a really close quartered area as well as a lot of open kind of highway and street areas that you can go into and have combat on the street. The last map that's going to be in Battlefield 4 is called Dish. And as you can go by from the picture, all we really know is that it's going to have a giant satellite area. It's going to have a lot of fighting. I'm assuming it's going to be an area where you can go and hide under from any kind of air support that's going to be around. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be another big open map area. Really good for snipers, really good for assault rifles. Uh, so we'll see. I'm really interested to see what some of these smaller maps might be. We might have some close quarter game modes and within some of these maps like Tremor or Siege of Shanghai. Since they're going to have buildings you can actually go inside of and use SMGs and shotguns and stuff like that since I am more of a close quarter combat kind of guy. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to slap a like and a favorite. And again, if you guys are new and have not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. I'm on my way to 30,000 subscribers. So any help you guys can give me would be much appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm X-Rays. I'm out. Peace.